So, yeah, there we go. We can get started now. So here we are. We go into my star mid folder, hit old installs, and then I keep my uh, my Smeta install down here. And I'm going to go into the blueprints folder, and you can see here are the ones which I've created today, from here to here. Don't copy these. Don't do that. You want to get them from your exported folder. And obviously they're not in there yet, but they will be. So what you need to do is quickly run this copy of the game. Don't update it, just start the game. And go Tools, Catalog Manager. Go down to the bottom, all the new ones will be there. And go Export, OK. Export, OK. Export, OK. Because it was so long ago, there's a script run when importing a ship cement file which upgrades the code for the ship and trust me you won't have any problems with your ship so unless you do it some other way so anyway uh, we're now going to come back into the current build which is right here and I'm going to run the launcher and then like I say you'll want to go start game And then we're waiting for that launcher. As you can see, we got this ship catalog manager. I'm going to see if I can screen share that so you can see it. Why not? Even though you won't be able to see the windows. There's so many pop-up windows that you can't really effectively show people what, what I'm trying to do. So here it is. Here's our good friend, the ship catalog manager. I'm going to hit import. And then you can't see what I'm doing again. It's great. <laughs> so I'm now going to go to the exported folder of my, where I have Smedit installed. So old installs, start made copy, blueprints, exported. And they are in here. Good thing is to actually use the filter by date, and then they'll just be the what the latest ones. So I'll go import, and it will remember where I was. Import, and then you just got to remember to import them all. <laughs> all right, Tom, I'm going to disappear for a while. Oh really? We just got to the point of loading them in. That's a shame. Yeah, all right then. No. I'll be sure to catch it later. No worries, man. See you in a bit. I know you. This is going to end up on YouTube later. <laughs> yeah, it's very true. Okay, so now we can actually log into the game. See you soon, dude. So at this point, I think we can pretty much close some of these windows and um, jump over to the overlay. There we go. Okay, everybody, we come to the end of the demo, so I've showed everybody how I made this. This is basically, you know, you split, cut it in half, delete the half, copy it, paste it, and there you have that ship is perfect symmetry. I've done a bit of wedging on it as well, you know, I did a few hours of wedging on this, so it didn't come out like that. I did all the wedging by hand, and it's not finished, but it flies, and there's plenty of room for systems. So, like I say, I, it's not this one, it has been worked on. And this is something I've been just messing about with over the last, well, today. Anyway, I decided to do a little demo and show everyone how to make better, um, better smedits. So it's basically doing Gaiasun's method for taking half of the ship, but doing it all in smedit and using the reflect feature. Okay, I don't think we did anything with the chief because we suspected he was looking sideways. And uh, I'm pretty sure he is looking sideways because look, everything else, he is, look, everything else in the line is going that way. And he's looking left, so yeah, I need to rotate the head before I do anything with chief. So I'm glad I didn't, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I didn't actually do that because that would have been annoying if I'd made it all and then it just flies sideways. Don't! Because that's an important thing to note about the old version of Smedit. It was often easier to just do it again than edit an existing model. 
that you'd converted because of the way that sometimes it could take a long time to load in a ship. You know? But yeah. So there you are. Generally speaking, I say once I've put it in the game, that's where it stays. You know? So you want to get it to as much as a ready state as, as you can. Like if you look at this conversion here, because of the size, it's messed up a lot of the polygons. So you're going to have to go around and clean it all up. There's hours of cleanup time in this. I mean, all these are little out of place blocks that just stand out. You know, you can wedge them, but it's never going to look right unless you clean it up proper first. So you go around, you clean it up, you wedge it out, then you've got to do your ship systems. So sure, you've got a nice silhouette, but it still takes a good eye and a lot of effort to uh, get it to a state where it's going to be a respectable looking ship. It teaches you a lot about proportion. It might give you a few ideas for, you know, how to do your contours on curves, because you can learn how the computer's doing it, but ultimately you do it better by eye. So, yep, that's the Macross 301. Obviously, I'd make it that so I could double it up, or triple it up, rather. Now, this is the one that I did the tutorial on to begin with. I might actually just re-wedge this. <laughs> this is funky. Hang on, let me see what it looks like underneath. Oh, wow. <laughs> this needs some ribbing and, and extreme lighting. The negative shell will be legendary. Oh, wow. But I really like what I've done on the other one, too. See, I wanted to give this out as a sort of challenge. I wanted to give this out and say, hey, guys, see what you can do with this ship. The hero class. So yeah, I've got a f I've got a s I've got a stupid looking one now. This should be the party ship. Look at it. Yes. This is the party ship. It will have multiple colored pulse thingies. And there will be lasers. It's gonna need a lot of tidying up though. It'll need a, it'll, this'll need a lot of tidying up though, you can see. But, for all intents and purposes, like I say, because it's odd sim, you can work in symmetry on the uh, half, you know, cut it in half on the sim, and you're good. So, let's look at a couple of the rest of them, shall we? Yeah, there's loads of turret hard points, that's exactly right, plus nine. That's what I loved about this. Some of these models that you find, you know, they're just stacked with hard points, you know. So let's come back here. Just here we got a uh, and the avatar. Now, obviously, I if you remember, I've cut this in half. Okay, so it's it's going to be perfect symmetry on the middle. Okay, which is like that's what you want really, because you don't want to be going around both sides cleaning up or finding that wedges are all sticking out, like in the air. That's what you don't want. Oh boy, I'm getting stuck in a super titan. Whatever. So let's uh, take another little look at this one. I think I might just go full screen for this one, guys. Bit too big. Because obviously, when we get to the big, the big Titan, I'm gonna have to. But yeah, like I say, perfect symmetry on the odd sim, which is what you want. That's the whole point of this uh, little live stream, was just to show people how to do that. The video will obviously be up on YouTube, and as soon as I've finished, the tutorial sub section was in the first 10 minutes. So if you missed it, when, the tutor when this stream ends, it will be available in past broadcasts. So if you did miss that part of, the video of this stream, you'll be able to get it first there, before I've even edited it. So we're going to take a look at this by Yelby. Of course, it won't be there till the stream's over, though, guys. <laughs> Come to this point. Oh, yeah, I see, yeah. Do you know what, though? I'd make this a, just a big shield with weaponry floating on a pole, and then I'd put this as my hanger. <laughs> just be like, yeah, I got a big old hanger, and you have to get in it through uh, the cap. That could work. Yeah, yeah, and it's just big and open air, you know? People have got to come out, be like a Y hole entrance. Ah, uh -huh. it had to be a Y hole. I like I that shape, problem. you know. I think I might have to do something with this, if you don't mind. Go ahead. And uh, of course, yeah, we made this one in Blender for us while we were uh, setting up. So you know, you don't have to use three D warehouse. Get inspired. Find a three D tool and make your own OBJs. Right, let's move up to the avatar. 
And once we've got oh. the avatar, we've also got... I think it should be fully loaded now. Damn! Obviously there's a lot of imperfections here, but you can choose what, what where you want to wedge it. It's gonna this is a big project. <laughs> Nine hundred and one meters is still pretty big. And obviously with the power of Smedit, you could have said times five, times ten, whatever you want. So if you're working on a build server and you wanna break some limits, make yourself a, get your Smedit model. No one's gonna hate you. Just make sure you tell people that you started with a model. That's, you know, because I know how much time it takes to make one of these things look respectable. You can't just put engines on it and go, yeah, it's got a big gun in it. Don't work. Is this on the public server? Yes, this is on the public server, but we're in 500, 500, 500, so you'd have to fly a long way to see it. To be honest, I don't know if my single player could handle all these... Might do, but it's not likely. And, um, like I say, a lot of these OBJs are public domain. The one that are not, make sure you get use all attribution, so, like, link back to the authors. I'm sure they won't mind. Sometimes people just don't like their stuff to be looked at, and if you link back to them, it'll give them some credit. So, they get free traffic. Free traffic. Could you believe it? In this day and age, free traffic? Is it traffic always free? I think traffic is... is traffic is usually free. I mean, uh, some people see traffic as a problem, you know. <laughs> so I think that there's one more. I Did I actually what? upload the other one? Yeah, I did. There's a 900 meter long version of the uh, Macross. I wonder if it actually got uploaded. Because it was quite a big one. Yeah, I did. Looks like we're in luck. Let's load him in. I think I will actually erase some of these guys now, because uh, we're going to start getting some weird collision-related... Oh, gosh, look, look, they've all started... They've all started dancing. Did you just turn them all on to AI or something? Nope. Are you controlling them all? <laughs> He's controlling them all. <laughs> Yelby's Cambot powers activate... Yalby, this voodoo that you do is unhealthy. Oh, wow. Oh, well, actually, you carry on, mate. I'm just going to make a gif. Please move as much to your heart's content. Oh, wait, don't see that's the camera does. <laughs> Classic. Classic Yalby. So we're going to do some synchronized turning. <laughs> yeah. You're causing some extreme lag right now, bro. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to jump out. Yelby, you're in all of them. <laughs> He's in all of them and in none of them at the same time. Right there we go. They're all gone. So load. Oops. I have to go actually. Oh, all right, mate. I'll see you soon. This is the last thing I'm gonna look at for everybody anyway. Something tells me that's not loaded in fully. Oh boy. This looks rough. Wow. To say this needs a lot of work is an understatement. Yikes, am I even sure this is the same model? Yeah, something didn't go well with that, I think. See, these are the sorts of artifacts you'll deal with when you're doing this kind of thing. And to be honest, some models just need so much work, they are better off just doing them by hand or actually making the model yourself to begin with. I don't know if you've noticed, but this is really quite horrible. Massive gaps missing. I mean, sure, you could patch it all up, but... You might prefer to just do it all yourself from scratch. Because there's a lot of work there. It's 
it's almost as if it had an interior in the model and when that was hollowed out it's just caused problems I suppose you can fly out of no you can't fly out of it ha huh. Whoops. So yeah, basically guys, that's everything I had to show you tonight. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out the past broadcast when the stream's over. You'll be able to see the actual tutorial that came with this. And uh, yeah, see you all next time.